Welcome to Folios, the Meter Center's presentations on items from its rare book collection. I am Karine Mogg, the Meter Center Director. Today we're going to be looking at some of Calvin's sermons that were actually printed in English, translated and printed in English, in the 16th century. Now Calvin, in Geneva, worked in Latin and in French. He knew Latin, he knew French, he preached in French, not in Latin. But uh, his sermons were of interest to people beyond the linguistic borders of those who knew French. So it's interesting to see how many of Calvin's sermons were actually translated into other languages. And this here is an example. It's a volume of Calvin's sermons, his sermons on Galatians, published in England in 1574. So, sermons of Mr. John Calvin upon the epistle of St. Paul to the Galatians, imprinted at London, by Lucas Harrison and George Bishop, 1574. Um, Harrison and Bishop, especially Bishop, were uh, very big publishers of Calvin's writings in England, and we find a lot of our early printed books of Calvin's works, commentaries, sermons, and so on, they have this very same title page, uh, that they were very prolific printers of Calvin in English. So someone in England had to sit and translate all of Calvin's sermons to put them into English for an English readership. Um, and often you get a very interesting preface by the translator or by the publisher uh, dedicated to someone who may very well have put up some money for the translation or at very least uh, gave some money after the fact to reward the translator or the publisher. And you notice this letter of dedication is dedicated to William Cecil, if you know anything about Elizabethan history, you know the name William Cecil. He was essentially Queen Elizabeth I's right-hand man. Um, Lord High Treasurer of England, Master of the Queen's Majesty's Court of Wards. Um, he had a lot of uh, power and clout in England. And this translation of Calvin's Sermons on Galatians was dedicated to William Cecil. And we can look at the end of the epistle, what they call the epistle dedicatory. And we'll see if it has the name of the translator. And sure enough, it does. Your most humble, always to command, Arthur Golding. Arthur Golding was one of the most uh, active translators of Calvin's writings into English in the 1560s and 1570s in England. So this one in 1574. Um, so it's a exact translation of the French. Um, the whole book of Galatians, Calvin's sermons on it. Um, we also at the Meter Center have modern editions. So here's the uh, modern edition of Calvin's Sermons on Galatians. Uh, this series of uh, volumes of modern translations of Calvin's sermons is very helpful. So uh, people who don't want to or can't read the older font uh, can access Calvin's sermons in English and still really gain real insights into how Calvin approached his biblical exegesis in his preaching. So you can see it going from Geneva and French into England, and then now today in modern editions so that scholars and general readers can continue to see how it was that Calvin preached and how he explained the core ideas of scripture to his readers and to his hearers.